This is Simon Gerrans, Scott Foyle. It's the more aerodynamic of the two Scott models that the Orica Green Edge team can choose from, and Gero gets his own slightly lighter version that loses the paint and has a unidirectional carbon finish with decals. Although it's an aero bike, there is an emphasis on weight saving throughout this. He's got the Physique Antares saddle with full carbon rails, and he goes for Pro Vibe carbon fiber handlebars too. Bottle cages, carbon fiber, saves a couple of grams. And the wheels, although they're Shimano C50, they're probably the wheels that best balance lightweight and aerodynamics in the range. So, fair bit of weight saving there compared to using the 85 mil wheels. Braking and shifting is provided by Shimano's ever reliable Dura Ace Di2. He goes for 3953 chainrings. The cassette is an 11 through 28, giving him plenty of options if the hills get a bit steep. Guerin stays with Shimano for his pedals, which are Dura Ace. Tires are supplied by Continental, and they're 25mm wide, part of the trend that we've seen as pros and everyday riders move towards slightly wider tires, and they're the competition pro-only version. They've got a slick centre section and file tread outers for more grip. One of the things I really like about this bike is just the practicality of it. It gets the job done, highly effective, very fast, much like the rider. Time for a few vital statistics then. Guerin's saddle height is about 72.5 centimetres and his reach is just under 55. The weight saving on this aero bike has clearly paid off because the bike weighs just 6.9 kilos. It's 100 grams over the UCI's weight limit. That means that he's got a little bit of weight to play with if he wants to use a lighter set of wheels. If you'd like to see our top 10 road bike upgrades, click right there. To see the rest of our pro bikes, click down there. And finally, to subscribe to GCN and get one great cycling video every day, click on me.